Here are 12 key differences between cellulitis and erysipelas. One, definition. Cellulitis, a bacterial infection of the deeper layers of the skin, dermis, and subcutaneous tissue. Erysipelas, a bacterial infection that affects the upper dermis and superficial lymphatics. Two, causative organisms. Cellulitis, commonly caused by Staphylococcus aureus, including Emmer and Streptococcus pyogenes. Erysipelas, primarily caused by Streptococcus pyogenes, group A Streptococcus. Shash three, appearance, cellulitis, diffuse, ill-defined borders with redness, swelling, and warmth. Erysipelas, well-defined, raised, bright red patches with a shiny surface. Four, severity of edges. Cellulitis, edges blend into the surrounding skin with no clear demarcation. Erysipelas, edges are sharply demarcated. Five, depth of infection. Cellulitis involves deeper dermis and subcutaneous tissue. Erysipelas, limited to the upper dermis and lymphatic vessels. Six, symptoms, cellulitis, gradual onset of symptoms, including tenderness, swelling, and fever. Erysipelas, sudden onset of symptoms, often with systemic features such as fever, chills, and malaise. Seven common locations, cellulitis, can occur anywhere on the body but commonly affects the lower legs. More commonly affects the face and legs. Eight, risk factors, cellulitis, associated with trauma, wounds, ulcers, or insect bites. Erysipelas, frequently linked to breaks in the skin, such as eczema or fungal infections. Nine, lymphatic involvement. Lymphatic involvement is less pronounced. Syphilis, prominent lymphatic involvement, leading to raised and clearly demarcated cystic features. Cellulitis, systemic symptoms, fever, chills, are less common and less severe. Erysipelas, systemic symptoms are often prominent early on. At 11, complications, cellulitis, can lead to abscess formation, necrotizing fasciitis, or sepsis if untreated. Erysipelas, may cause recurrent infections and chronic lymphedema, but is less likely to lead to abscesses. 12, treatment, cellulitis, broad spectrum antibiotics, such as cephalexin or clindamycin, to cover staphylococcus and streptococcus. Erysipelas, penicillin or other antibiotics specifically targeting streptococcus.